Hello everyone, today we are going to look at the top 10 things you should do after installing Linux Mint. Okay, the first thing we want to do is when we press the power button, that the computer will shut down immediately. So we go to menu, type in power, go to power management, click on that. And here it says when the power button is pressed, normally it is put in ask, you should choose shut down immediately. So when we press the power button, the computer will shut down immediately. Okay, number two, software sources. Click on menu, go to software sources, click on software sources, enter your extremely secure password and click on OK. Main, you want to choose the fastest server. OK, we choose for example, this one and then click on apply. And on base, you want to choose also the fastest server. Just wait a few seconds. And then you click on the fastest server and you click OK. And then you want to click to update the cache. Okay, let's continue with number three, update manager. Click on menu, type in update, go to update manager. And here you want to be sure that your system is up to date. If it's not, then the updates will appear here as a list. You just click on install updates and the updates will be updated. Okay, let's continue with number four, device manager. Device manager in Linux is called driver manager. So you want to go to driver manager, you enter the password, Often here you will see uh, devices like your Wi-Fi, sound card or video card. Uh, most of them are put on recommended, recommended, then you're good to go. Okay, let's continue with number five, Ubuntu restricted extras. Click on menu, type in uh, software manager, enter your password. And here we type in Ubuntu minus sign res. Double click on Ubuntu restricted extras. This uh, software is for you to play video, audio, Java and Flash. And I highly recommend it to install. Don't get scared by the word Ubuntu. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu. So if you install this, you are good to go. Let's continue with number six. Always in software manager, there is a VLC, the multimedia player. And this one is already installed. Just be sure that it's also installed on your system. So you can watch MP4, DFX, movies, etc. Okay, number seven, the firewall. To install the firewall, in Linux Mint, you have to go to Software Manager, you type in the password, and you type in GUFW, which is Graphic User Interface Firewall. You double click on it, and then you can see if it's installed or not. If it's not installed, you can install it from here. After that, you go to Menu and type in GUFW, you have the firewall configurator, enter the password, and here we have our firewall. In the firewall you can add rules, for example uh, incoming FTP traffic you want to deny. Just click on the little plus, uh, in policy we put deny, direction is incoming, category all, and in application you scroll down until you see the FTP this one and then you click on add after you have done that you will see this then your firewall is activated 
there is a useful documentation we will go to help documentation and here you can find uh, most of the questions of how to configure your firewall okay let's continue with number eight keyboard shortcuts menu system set go to system settings type in key and here we have the keyboard on top you have shortcuts and here we can add a custom shortcut click on that okay as an example we want to Firefox to open automatically when we hit Ctrl plus F key. So we type in here Firefox and command the same Firefox. Click on Add. Double click Unassigned. And here you choose Ctrl plus F. So you can see it says Ctrl F. So let's test it out. When I press Ctrl F, my Firefox will start. So Control F and here we have our Firefox okay let's continue number nine menu bar when you are in Firefox you right click here on the empty space and you can disable the menu bar and when you right click again you can enable the menu bar okay number 10 the search option in Firefox normally it's always Yahoo but most of the time you want this to be Google search now how you do that you just click on change search settings here you click on Google and then here it will appear like Google if it's not you click on add more search engines you want to scroll down at the bottom when you see this G icon, the Google icon, you just click on it. And once you have done that, you click again here. And then you can choose Google search. It says add Google search in here. And you go back to preferences. And then you have this option. Like this, Google. Okay, so these were the top 10 things you should really do after installing Linux Mint. Later on I will upload more videos. For now, stay well, peace out.